Hi there, welcome to another video from First in Architecture. In this really quick video I'm going to show you how to use the trim and extend tools. Um, really useful little tools. Um, I'll start off with the trim tool. Um, to activate the trim command you just press uh, TR. You can see there it's come up. And press enter. Um, so as we can see here, I've circled some little areas that I'm going to trim. Um, this wall here is, is running into this area here and that's not correct. So I've activated the trim command um, and you can see there the cursor is now asking me to select objects. Um, and this is to select your cutting edges. Um, so in this case, this line here is the cutting edge. So I'm going to select that and select that side of it as well just to be sure. Um, so once I've selected the objects I want to be the cutting edges, I'm going to press enter or spacebar. Um, and then it's asking me to select the object that I want to trim. And I'll come back to the second half of that in a second, um, the shift select. Um, so I'm going to click on that, click on that, and you can see it's trimmed it away. So let's have a look at an alternative option with that. Let's trim this line away here. So TR for trim, spacebar. Now it's asking me to select objects or select all. So in this case, I'm not going to select specific cutting edges. I'm just going to I'm going to press spacebar and select all. So now I can click, and that trims away straight away. Now the the beauty of that is you don't have to be too fiddly about. You know, if you've got a lot of things to trim, you can just um, select all and then go in and trim. If you've got a big model file, it can slow you down a bit. So just be careful of that. Um, so you see all of these items are selected so I can just go in and trim things away. Um, now another useful part of the trim tool is the um, using the extend tool within the trim tool and I'll, first of all I'll show you how to use the extend tool and then we can come back to the, the shift option. So um, the extend tool, I'm going to write EX for extend. Let's say I made a mistake here and we want to re-extend that wall back towards um, this here. So once again it's asking me to select objects and in this case I'm selecting the objects that I want to extend to. So I'm going to select that one and let's say that one as well. Um, so I've selected them, press spacebar to continue and now it's asking me to select the objects that I want to extend. So there we go. And let's say I want to extend these ones as well. You can see the the line we're extending to is dotted there, so you can kind of see where you're at with that. Um, so that's how extend works, and it works in the same way. If we go extend, enter, you can select all objects, so select all, press enter, um, and then we could, let's say we want to extend that. You notice here it's extending to its closest line. If you just press it again, it will go again. If I zoom in, you can see what's happening here. It's extending to each closest line it's, it's coming across. OK, and then it's extended to there. So in that case, it would have been more sensible to actually select this line over here as the extension line as opposed to selecting all because it will just it will extend to every single line it comes across. And that can be a little frustrating. Um, a good example of that, actually, if I just cut this line off, let's say we want to extend this line um, to the end of the stairs here. We could go EX and select all, which is kind of a lazy way of doing it, I suppose. But then we'd have to click click, 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 until we get to the end, which can be quite um, <laughs> frustrating. Um, however, if I just trim this line away again and do it again, if we go extend EX spacebar, and I'm just going to select the last line that I want it to get to, select that, and then press that, it extends right through and skips out all the rest of the, the stairs there. Um, now these tools are not only used with um, you know straight lines and things like that, we can use them in circles as well. So for example, let's trim this line out of the middle of this circle. So I'm going to select this circle as the cutting edge, press spacebar, and then I'm going to trim that line from within it. And likewise, we can extend our arcs. So if I type EX, I'm going to select this line as the extension line. I'm going to extend this arc to the edge of that line. And actually, if I click it again, it should go all the way around. No, nope, it's not going to in this case. <laughs> um, so that is how to um, trim or extend circles or arcs, depending.
And likewise here, like you can, if I select to that as a trimming, as your trimming edges, we can trim the middle out of that circle. And then finally, what I was talking about is the the shift select tool. So if you're in the middle of a trim command, and let's say I've said trim select all, and um, we're happily trimming away some lines. If we either make a mistake or decide we want to extend a line whilst we're in this command, if you hold down shift and click, it gives you the option to extend. So I'm in the trim command, trimming away, and let's say I trim this one by accident, we can go back, hold down shift, and extend it back again. And this works exactly the same way um, in the extend tool. So I'm going to select extend tool, EX, enter, I'm going to select all, I'm going to start extending lines. And then let's say I accidentally clicked on that, extended too far, if I hold down shift, and that will trim it away. So that's a really quick way of using both tools at the same time. You just hold down shift and you can flick between the two. Um, so that's a, just the basic introduction to the trim and extend tool. Really easy to use, very useful. Um, so I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.